you worried about AI taking your engineering job? In this video, I'm going to be going over my thoughts on the subject and why a social engineer shouldn't be worried about AI taking their job. My thoughts on AI taking engineering jobs, I would say lower level engineers or people that are just getting an entry level, AI is going to be scary. I'll be honest, I really think it's going to be quite scary because it's going to be something where the senior people are going to be able to utilize AI to do a lot of the lower level work. Uh, recently, I don't remember who to attribute it to or I'd tell you, but I saw something about AI basically having infinite interns. I really think that's a really great way to look at it. So I would say it also comes back to if I want to build my house, do I call a hammer? Or do I call a carpenter? Because I see the current AI that's out, which is not general AI, it's large language model based typically, as a tool, like a hammer. I'm not going to call a hammer to build my house, I'm going to call a carpenter. So you need to become the carpenter and be able to use the tools the best you can. So this is why I think having social engineer type skills, so having high EQ and high SQ, while also having high IQ, will put you in a perfect position to be able to get a lot more leverage on your skills, because the humans aren't going away. There's going to be less humans, and I really think this social engineer type stuff, where you, you need to be more emotionally and socially intelligent, is going to be the determining factor whether you retain your job or not. I truly do, because I think there's going to be a lot of people that if they don't have the social skills, oh, we can just automate your job. Obviously, depending very much on what type of job it is, it's going to be something where like things that are right for automation, maybe you need to be rising to you know one level above something that can get automated. And the way you're going to do that is by having the social and emotional skills to outperform your peers and get to that next level where you're going to stave off getting cut from your job. So I think the emotional and social intelligence stuff is only to get more important as we go down the track here with this AI stuff. And you should really start working on these skills now. Today, you really should like stop what you're doing and just start being more conscious because this stuff doesn't have to take up lots of extra time. On the front end, you probably need to start paying a bit more attention and it will require some energy. But after you get the systems in place and you get some momentum, it becomes very easy to try to be more social and emotionally intelligent in your day-to-day -day life. If you're interested in learning how to be a more social engineer, check out my link in the description below and join my network. I hope to see you there.